hey guys welcome back to crown geek this is shabazz and today in this video i will be helping you to fix wireless adapter missing in windows 10 so me probably while doing some work or in middle of something or you lost your wi-fi connection and what you found that there is no wireless adapter so i'm going to share top nine methods that you need to apply one by one and once it gets fixed you can skip the rest of the method from there okay so let's start with number one so you first need to show all the hidden devices in the device manager so press windows and r key on your windows computer and just type d e v m g m t dot m s c now click on ok so there this is a list of all the devices device manager all the drivers now here we need to look for network adapters click on it and then come on the top click on action and then click on scan for hardware changes so now it will automatically scan and if there is any missing adapter it will bring it back so you can recheck again by checking your adapter here if it is back you can skip the second thing that you can do is you can also run add legacy hardware so probably if something is missing so it can bring it back so what you have to do again click on action and then click on add legacy hardware so probably in your case you won't be seeing network adapter so you can just click on any one of them and follow the instructions click action again then add legacy hardware and then click on next and then hit next again if you know the specific hardware model you want to install click next to select from a list so this will be only when it did not it doesn't find any kind of hardware so if it find then you can follow the instruction or else simply close the box so let's move to the number three that we have to run network troubleshooter so simply come on the search icon here and type network troubleshooter just click this one find and fix network problem from the suggestions here click on advanced make sure apply repairs automatically is checked once done click on next and now it will start detecting the problem so you just need to choose the first one as of now i can connect to this website through my wi-fi so it won't show me any error in your case it will show you some problems some errors so probably it can give you a recommendation of fixing it so you just need to click on it and then click on next so you can try this method if it's asking for the restart you can also go with the restart and check back again if this fix your problem or not if not then move to the number four that is we need to reset winsock settings network winsock settings so what you have to do is type cmd here and choose run as administrator and now here you need to type n-e-t-s-h winsock reset now every command i'm using i will be giving you all the details in the description so simply try to understand the steps so once you write this command simply hit on enter and you will be getting successfully reset the winsock catalog and now you just need to restart your computer and check back definitely i'm sure that this will help you to fix the problem and still if it's it it doesn't get fixed then we have to proceed with the next step that is performing cleanup of network devices so how you have to do that again close this box type here cmd and this just type net cfg space minus d so you will be seeing a message here removing device van mini port removing device removing device so you can see all these messages here now it will ask you to reboot the computer in your case if you are not getting such kind of messages 
you can just re, uh, just run this command again okay so once done you again need to reboot your computer and check back if this fix your problem or not and if not then we proceed to the next step that is checking wire wlan services we need to make sure that the services of wireless is running from the windows computer so press windows in our key again and here you need to type services dot msc so you will be getting this da this kind of dashboard so just click on anywhere and then click just type w and now scroll down to look for wlan auto config here it is simply double click on it and now if the startup type is set to manual or disable then you make sure you set it to automatic and then you can just in the running status you can click on stop and then start again click on apply and then an okay and check back again if this fix your problem if not you can also try restarting the computer now let's move to the number seven if nothing works for you, then let's go with the power management service. We have to check that if there any problem with the power management. So how you have to do is close this box, type Windows R D V M G M T dot M S C. You have to go with a network adapter. Just so in the network adapter you just need to go with the, your network adapter make a right click on it and then click on properties click on power management and you need to uncheck this option then click on ok and you also need to check the number eight uh, method that is rolling back your network adapter so again uh, just click on properties and here you will be getting the rollback driver option so in my case it's not showing because of the driver but if you get this option highlighted then click on rollback so what happens if the device fails after updating the driver rollback to the previously installed driver so if the current version of driver failed due to any reason it will automatically roll back to the previous one which was working absolutely fine all right so if this all methods are the working method guys which already work for many people but in your case if nothing works for you then you have to go with the system restore so press windows and r key type rstrui dot exe and the system restore will be started as of now i haven't restored any point so in my case it's not showing but if there is already a restore point created on your device it will show you all those options so you can choose any any of the date or where you think your computer was working fine your wireless adapter was working fine you can choose that date and then hit on next and start the system restore so hope so that this will definitely fix your problem definitely take some time but yes you will be getting the solution and please consider subscribing to the channel and like the video so that you can get all the notifications and be updated. Thank you.